Hey everybody, welcome back to Amori. The last episode, we defeated Space Boyfriend, or Captain Space Boy, or whatever he's now called, because we made him overcome his broken heart. I say overcame. He, he got out of, you know, the ruts, but so to speak. I remembered that the memories were worth remembering. And he and his space pirates went to get a snow cone. We also completed the crow quest, so we found the crows for the scarecrow using Hero's ability. And then we went to a snowy area, but we didn't really do much there because I need a swim ability and I do not have it. We should all be healed again. I healed at the end of the last part. Uh, we we gave Kel an item, eye patch, which lowered his hit rate, and I'm not convinced it was the correct play. I might take Five Leaf Clover instead and increase his crit chance. Because I think it's just going to be annoying having your 75% chance to hit. Assume you get your 75% chance to hit. Anyway, we're following the red trail. And I think it's going to lead to the train station because we also got a train ticket. Okay, unexpected. Oh, let's follow it. Hmm, it's got dark. We're following a shadow version of Basil, I think. What's all this stuff? Cookies. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Uh oh. I'm feeling like I'm going to begin to remember why this game is a psychological horror again. He's up there. Is there anything down here? There is. Okay, I see where you went to as well. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Is that Basil? <laughs> I'm beginning to think it's a shadow variant of a girl I don't know. I just want to explore up here. Are there any other things? Are you still are you going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Is it Mari? Oh Marie. I wish. What should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. That cake looked delicious, by the way. Pretty hungry, not eating yet today. And it's like early afternoon, so might eat after this episode. Right. What was up here? Ah, half a melon. Watermelons. My favourite part of the summer. Not gonna lie, not a big watermelon fan. I think they're pretty low on the tier of fruits. Are the fruits worse than watermelons? Yes. Lychee, you're 100% the worst fruit. Or at least the worst fruit I've ever eaten. I can't remember if I ate Jorian. I've smelt Jorian before. I don't get, I mean, it's a smelly fruit, but it's not hideously smelly. But everything I've heard of Jorian is it just tastes like butter almost. So it sounds pretty okay to me, honestly. Eh, uh, alright, I think we explored up there, so let's go. Nope. No talking this time. Aha! Well, this looks ominous. Can I go through there, please? Oh, apparently you can. Just walking up the stairs, minding my own business. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the darkness. And I'm not talking about the band. Oh, FK. I actually push F this time to pay your respects. Can't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. I'm kind of scared, but I 
I don't know where I'm going. I'm just scared. Sheet music on a music stand. All the notes being scribbled out. Happy family. I also see the light bulb up there. I also see you behind me. Holy moly. I think that was Basil? I saw a flower crown. Oh, okay, we're back here. Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Sketchbook, take a look. Yeah, let's see what's being added. Nothing from what I can see. That steak was here last time, right? Is this going to give me this? Oh, F is a wrong word. Oh, wrong letter, sorry. I see. Staring to the light bulb. Pitch black inside, you can't see a thing. I still hate it. I can stab myself again. Let me just have a peep. Get away from me. So it just wraps around again. All right, I think we're gonna become sunny again. The noise of film is a horror classic. At that time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you. I want to go back. Three days left. What? Yep, we're sunny again. Table lamp. Okay, we have another voice message. We have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mummy. How are you doing? Are you eating well? I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of the big furniture sale and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left a list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mummy loves you. Bye, honey. Z Mum's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Okay. It's night. The front door. Hello? Hello? Sonny, are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend, Kel. So I, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house and I, uh, heard from my mum that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go or whatever, for old time's sake, you know? What would you like to do? Open the door, do nothing. Open the door. It's Cal.
Whoa, you actually came out? Uh, I, I mean, okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game plan here. That's okay. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's the hobby shop in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hey, you lead the way. Okay. I'm leading the way. So it's probably not this way. A very common sight, honestly, around here. Shoes tied to the, you know, the electrical cables. Don't know why people do it. Just want to see. For sale sign. And it's sold. Three days we're moving out. Is this Kel's house? Okay, I see why he likes balls. Can I pet the dog? Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over to my place, but now might not be a good time. Okay. So is this, like, Kel Aubrey? Class white mailbox and hero? Empty birdhouse. Plastic flamingos. Oh, they're recycling. Oh, cool. In the UK, we don't have it like that. The colours are actually pretty similar. We have a fourth one. So brown is for, like, organic. Green is for paper. Blue is for bottles. And then black is just everything else. A classy white mailbox. What are these? A statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it's judging you. Hmm. I'm just aimlessly wandering. No jaywalking here. Ooh, a park. Faraway Park. The future belongs to the dreamers. Oh, is this the park that we have in our world? Preacher, I'm on the way to church, but it's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seemed to calm my nerves. Hello, youngins! I don't know if you've been watching where you've been stepping, but there's quite a lot bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. Okay, I'm beginning to see a pattern. Tedwell pool. So this is like the playground in like the dream, but I don't know what it's called, but I'll call it dream world for now. This is other world, isn't it? Recycling stuff and earth. The center of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? Is there something on my face? You got trash. Okay, you're doing laps. Recycultist. We are recycultists. Followers of the holy bin. As all have littered, almost except they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay. You're both saying the same thing. Please let me catch you. You know what? Hi. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, hey. What's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You from around this part of town? Oh, whoa. I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball too. Eh? I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Cal? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. You know, like spinning the ball on the end of your finger. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend, Sonny, here, is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place. Yep, yeah, sounds good. See you then. Large metal cap. Do you remember being a lot bigger? Interesting. Is stuff like leeching in from the other world? This is weird. Pretty boy. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helped me put things into perspective. 
I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa, that's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah, oh, uh, hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Sonny? Yeah, sure. Great picture. See? Even Sonny agrees with me. Heck, I'd buy that from you right now. Hey, Sonny, can you lend me $20? Ha ha ha. Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It, it, it's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, oh, darn. That's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Kel, and this is Sonny. Hi, Kel and Sonny. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way. I don't believe it that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sonny believe in you. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. I've just got to shake off those bad feelings. I'll... I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Uh, hello, I found some trash. Plus one dollar. Oh, more trash. Right, what's your deal? Apple guy. Uh, uh, uh. Drink apple juice. Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. What about the sugar? Normally apple juice is very sweetened. Olive beanie. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle. But I can't find it anywhere. More trash. Old hobo. Ho, ho, ho. Hello. <coughs> Ark. Ark. Ah. Today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least the sunlight is free. You know what? Positive outlook on life. So Sonny can't cut these, interestingly. An empty picnic basket. Would you like to save? You know what? Let's drop a save. Why not? We'll give you some more trash, and then I think we're done with the park. Two dollars. Nice. Okay. Vending machine. Oh, I was wondering if I could buy a drink, but I'm sure. Where the... Oh, I found hobbies. By pure chance. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Well, look no further than Cal. Do do do. Ba da da ba. Ba da da bum. Ba da ba da da bum. Bum ba dum. Ba dum. Ba do boop boop. Okay, come on, Cal. She's not interested, apparently. Come on, Sonny, let's go to hobbies first. Okay. Well, here we are at hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except, now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for you, Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's starting to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? No, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out a gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there is. Some colourful CDs, maybe you could play them at a jukebox. So, uh, this CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. How about this giant Space Boy poster? Nope. 
Interesting poster. Wow, the monster in this poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting that would be a tough battle. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Would you like to challenge this monster to a battle? What? Eh. Uh, calm down and guard. What? Jackson. Feels like you can't escape. Okay, we, we can slay Jackson. He's just walking slowly towards me. What's the worst that can happen? Hey, Sonny was victorious. Hello, Sonny? Earth to Sonny. Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder if you hid it there. I guess we can just take it. You got a merry CD. This, yes, this is perfect. Papa chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. Hero had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog, Hector, destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Twenty dollars? This is extortion. Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I mean, I only had three dollar. Okay. Hey, shopkeep, we'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, uh, th that's Papa Chip's Chip of the Old Block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favourite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hera's gift. Thanks a lot, Sonny. I bet Hera will love this. Oh, playing cards on the table. Is it magic? Is it a magic draft? Who knows? It costs ten a dollar to play. Sure. Let's play Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure. Yo, I see you have your eyes set on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy's Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive plays today. People from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold a high score. <laughs> if you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. This is cool. Eh. So it's like Space Invaders. What is this? Oh, I collect it, I guess? Ah, it's changed my gun. Probably shouldn't be shooting through this, but... You know what? Give me that, please. Crisis averted. Okay. It has been years since I've played Space Invaders. Crisis averted. Mission failed, that's pretty bad. Oh, I nearly got hit again. I wonder what his top score is. Crisis averted. One more. You can do it. Sonny, we can do it. Crisis averted again. I thought I was going to get hit then. Not going to lie. I need to hit that one at the front. Okay, we should be good now. Tell me what the high score is, goddammit. Holy. Mission failed! Oh, okay, last life, last life. Crisis averted. It's getting hard! No! Game over! 7,750. 
Well, tickle me impressed. You actually beat my score! Guess I should make Rumai new generation. Ha. Huh. Here's your prize as promised. I only give this out to people I think are really cool. I got cool glasses. Can I equip them? Nice! Uh, I've just noticed I have stats in this area as well. This place is kind of small, but it's a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. My favourite novel just got a comic adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Okay, vending machines. And... Chock full of comics. Perfect. Actually, let me just have a quick look at these posters. Okay, interesting. And a poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Nothing you haven't seen. Alright, I think we're done. So, where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, eh? How about we go to Faraway Park? Yeah, the park. We passed it by on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, sure. Let's hang out at the park. Maybe it's like a pitch and put course. Something like that, that'd be pretty cool. Wait, don't go. Please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you've got beef with her, then go talk to yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you boy. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just Cal. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Pfft. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Just scoot forwards. Uh, okay, she has a nailed baseball bat. Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell us, Sonny. Sonny's here? Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must be nice to live on your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what it's, he's been through. Hmm. Whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Sonny, come on, we've got to do some things. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. Well, this is an unexpected turn. Encourage. Raises Sonny's attack. Let's get an encouragement in. My attack rises. Held up 72 damage, by the way. Gah! What the... Is is that a knife? Did we just stab Aubrey? Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're, you're hurt. 
I, I, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we got to get you out of here. Uh, I'll get you back for this. <laughs> Scoot away. Whoa, what was that? Sorry, whoa, that was about to get real messy. Yeah, for Aubrey. Good thing you had your knife there or we'd have... Wait a sec. Give me that. Hell took away your steak knife. You should be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Oh, Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. Hey, Basil. How are you doing? Ah, I'm fine. Thank you. Kel? I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny is here too. Say hi to Sonny. Oh, hey Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion. So did you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I, I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um... My grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Uh oh, all right then. Thank you. Okay. Don't know where she lives, but... Why is there a wormhole enemy here? Oh. It's not that way to Basil's house, remember Sonny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours, from the crosswalk. This way? Adorable. Apparently I'm right. This must be Basil's house. There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Not the, you know, countless amount of flowers and fertilizer outside. What the hell is that? Um, when you guys can drop me off. All right. Mm, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, okay. Wait, please don't go. Uh, I mean, I, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favourite to ask. Anything, Basil? What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Ah, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Bye, Basil. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We've got a photo album to find. Let's check Far Away Park for the clues. All right, we're going back to the park. So... I'm going to guess, based on what I've pieced together so far, we've been trapped at home for three years. I guess because we've done something, so we're not allowed outside anymore. And everyone was our friends, and this other world is like what we're... We memorised our friends as. Something along those lines. Oh, hello. Hmm, looks like Aubrey isn't here. 
Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know Charlie. I can't tell you're not really the mean type of person. Sorry, you can tell they're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? <laughs> uh, hi. Who, what, and where now? What do you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Kel, that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and almighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. But battle? But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, let's sick him, Charlie. <laughs> Poor Charlie. Okay, we have calmed down. Just lay into Angel. Throw a basketball in, takes 39 damage. Angel did a flip and struck a pose. Charlie punches Kel for one. And I attack Sunny too. Keep throwing that basketball at you. Angel, hey, you surprised me, Kel. You would make a worthy rival for my master. Kel is just getting all the abuse right now. Do I have any snacks? Do I have any toys? Oh, I have a first aid kit. From other ma pharmacy, he has 150 health. Don't think we're right at that point yet. Sniff, you, you'll pay for this. Okay. Just as I thought, if you beat Angel, the battle ends. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Literally, all we just stood there was like passing a basketball into his head. That's all Angel did in that battle. He's been years in that tree, training like a ninja, and he just got bested by being passed out by basketball. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Oh, okay, Angel. It's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. A promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honour my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. Probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else. I told you, I tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything. <laughs> Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell every ruin about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Uh, uh, wh 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 what? You can't do that. That's cheating. Uh, anyway, I, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The, 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 the Maverick? Oh no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? <laughs> don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offence to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mikhail? I mean, the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you... Gah! Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at Faraway Plaza. He said he was going to meet some girls there for a date or something. Ah, disgusting. Come on, Sonny, let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. You know what? Let's drop a quick save. Yeah, let's have a, a little quick save. You know what? It's probably long enough for the part, actually. I think we'll call it there for this episode. Kind of a weird place to end it. We're not playing as Amori right now. We're still sunny. So, things have opened out somewhat. So, we're now in, like, what I'm treating as the real world, but who knows what is real anymore. And Sonny is moving house in three days. And Kel's been like trying to ask us and he's like a previous friend. But apparently we've not been out for three years. 
Now we've come out, we're meeting everyone. Aubrey's this bully. And we still don't really know what Hero is. Hero might be your Kel's brother, I guess, but was at college studying medicine. But we're kind of like getting this mirror world now. We've seen Basil here as well. Not Mari yet, but characters we've met in this like other world. We're now meeting in the real world. And I think stuff is going to slowly like, you know, work out. Why was Sonny in bed or in his house for three years? Who knows? We'll find this out. And what happens like with Aubrey? Why is she so mean? I guess this is stuff we'll find out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have. <laughs> so at least I've got that going for me. Anyway, if you like the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Everything helps me out. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.